at DreamHack, he got top four, I believe. And he uh, he wasn't happy enough with that. What? Well, I understand. I understand. It's, you want to be able to beat New to King or Hunger Box or one of the, right. the heavy hitters. Yeah, for him, the measure of a good tournament is like, can I beat a god? Can I get a small upset or an upset or whatever yeah. you want to find it as? <laughs> Looks like go. they're getting in the action. Yeah, the Pikachu versus Sheik matchup, obviously, uh, for a long time, was overwhelmingly considered to be in Sheik's favor, and it still probably is in theory, but Axe is so versed in it that he's made it work. Yeah, it's no longer like what we used to think, which was Sheik demolishes Pikachu. Yeah, right? the, unwinnable. The chain yeah. throw is not super real. This Sheik is so good. He's using needles properly, he's positioning really well. Yeah, and they take the first stock board with only 52%. He, he kept full hop in a really interesting spot where the platform wouldn't stop it and that it would defeat short hop. So right here, I have a really impressed by Milhouse. Yeah, and he's still going. He's about to get the percentage advantage on second stock. Whoa, Axe. Is Axe not warmed up? This is looking amazing. Right now, it just seems that Axe is trying to engage in a spot and Milhouse is standing still and throwing out a lot of great zoning tools. Yeah. F tilt before Pikachu is there. A few fairs in place. Yeah, one of my favorite GIFs, or like uh, hitbox GIFs, is the comparison of Pikachu's aerial hitboxes versus Sheik's forward air. And Sheik's forward air just massively dominates every approach option that Pikachu has. There's so no way her near is going to win. Too. Yeah, you have to be really sneaky. Yeah, it all comes down to Pikachu abusing the ground game, but there's a way that she can hold her own and just zone out Pikachu. It just looks like Milhouse is doing a great job. Milhouse is just keeping this consistent. If he's able to pull us off his stock, but. Cool combo for Pikachu. Right now, Axe just playing the new oh. game so well. Really great defense. He hit him that many times and only got 80%. Obviously, like, the stock came through, but man, Pikachu's defense are weak. Yeah. Definitely not holding that Thunderstone to get extra damage in. Yeah, the game resets. Axe with a little bit of invincibility. Let's see if Milhouse can do what he did at the beginning. Looks like Axe is starting to warm up to this matchup. Yep. To Milhouse in particular. Five-piece, six-piece combo and only 40% damage. Really, the numbers speak for themselves. Sheik just has to get one down throw to even up this damage, really. Yeah. Ooh, there it is, off his side. Oh. I'm surprised he didn't grab the edge again. Yeah, Axe missing his wave dash. And it's a little easy to get weary because of that slant. You don't want to miss your angle. What a grab! Interesting he didn't opt for a yeah. second grab there. All right. Axe with his first lead of the game. Yeah, that's super interesting. And, you know, Milhouse probably feeling a little bit stressed. He had this lead against the top 10 you know, player. He was playing so good in the opening, but right now it just looks like Axe is finding exactly where Milhouse wants to plant himself in attacking before yeah. Milhouse can set up camp. Everything is not coming out up Milhouse. No, no. Before when he was doing needles and fairs in place, X didn't really know how to approach it, but yeah. one but technique I saw that X used was actually down smash on card cancel. Pikachu's down smash. You actually have to SDI away. Yeah. Can't just eat it up. It's a little bit like Peach and Avatar. Yeah, just a little bit. Unfortunately, it does like six damage total. <laughs> it's Pikachu. <laughs> As with Pikachu, all of his moves that can be compared to other characters are pretty much strictly worse. Uh, besides maybe his up air, which is just incredible. And his up smash. His up yeah. smash is actually the best. Yeah. Scratch out your bingo cards. You had uh, Pikachu's up smash. Right there, Melhouse is using really good recovery techniques. Fortunately, yeah, this is dominant. Yeah, a little antsy on the recovery. One more. Oh. Really smart use of the needles. Milhouse is like so smart for so much of these chunks of time, but then he just can't quite finish it off. Axe, Axe is able to get the third and fourth part of the, uh, the flow chart stopped. Definitely agreed. And if he doesn't get that small piece, he's gonna keep on taking a lot of heavy damage during the last of Axe's stocks. Yeah. And look how Axe is just avoiding and forcing him not to stand in the middle and stand still. He's forcing him to move more, and he's not as confident with his movement as Axe is. And I like how you mentioned that because the more I play this stage, the more I find that once you can feel comfortable on this stage and you're not being chased, that's when you feel better. Yeah. But if you're always being chased and you can't hold your footing down, this stage is just so bad. You're, gonna, yeah. you're never gonna touch the ground. Oh, that up there. To interrupt the up smash is really cool. I was I was wondering if that up smash was gonna hit. I was like, that doesn't seem real. It seems like you're pretending that Pikachu is the spacey. And that the tail is everything. <laughs> now, pretty even, though this recovery is gonna look pretty bad for Sheik. Yep. And that's 
Sheik is uh, similar to Pikachu in that the end lag on their up B is just really, really, really long. And so if you can force Sheik onto stage, you have plenty of time to go and cover that when you're at low percent. Now, Pikachu's up B recovery is a little harder to punish. So a lot of times we're seeing that Sheik has to just kill Pikachu outright or right. do needle ledge guards, right? Which yeah. are not that good. Yeah, that's the difference between Pikachu's up B is that it's very hard to force Pikachu off, uh, off the edge. Because if you take the edge, Pikachu can just option select and then drift onto stage. Yeah, and her on-stage lag is not as heavy as Sheik's. Still punishable, but not that good. Yeah, Millhouse, keeping things respectable again. Yep, there's the up Caught smash. The jump. Yeah, it actually worked that time. Axe did go for the up air. So right there, I'm 11 this time. Percent. Yeah. The crop popping off a little bit for Millhouse. Everything's coming up Millhouse. He's got the stock lead. Dang, Millhouse just F-tilted that ledge dash approach. Really great choice and spacing. Yo, know, the fact that he has maintained a stock lead over Axe for, I think, the majority of the time of this set is truly incredible. Like, this is something you can be proud of. And he might be able to even take this game. Yeah, Milhouse is keeping it pretty simple. A lot of full hops right now that are stationary. And Axe seems to just be moving about it. All right, 54%. That's what you bought yourself. All that work, and that's your ticket to game three. Let's see what you can do. This down smash in neutral is not going to pay and off. Axe. Axe has gotten a lot of hits, but most of the damage is going to be psychological. Still under 50% damage. Yeah. Can she get her bearings? He's trying to touch center ground. Can't and let the mouse in your head, man. Axe is just choking out center ground. Oh, he's trying to go offstage. He didn't go for the needles. That He's done that so well so many times. Oh, no. Right now, it looks like Milhouse is so pressured. Oh, he gets him off the edge, and it's game two to Milhouse! Whoa. The crowd pops off, it's Ohio State flags flying. This guy traveled out to Virginia to make Axe work. Dang, Milhouse, that was such a good fair. Like you were saying, it's the psychological damage. If, if I'm in that situation, if most players are in that situation, they're freaking out when Axe gets that many hits on you. Milhouse keeps it calm and it gets clutch in the end of game two. Axe just held that ledge for a little too long, was vulnerable. Oh, Milhouse is kind of feeling it now, but isn't able to get that up smash too low percent on Axe. Yeah, he's been liking that down throw up smash, but... Oh, no. Yeah, just holds on. Yeah, almost got that wall jump attempt. Yeah. Axe trying to keep it simple, a lot of damage, just edge guard faster. Yeah, that really sucks because uh, Milhouse has been nickel and diamond his way through this game. So starting off the game, basically now he has to three stock Axe to win the set. I want to see how these platforms are going to interact there. with Sheik. I feel like X has an advantage here. He's really comfortable on this stage. But the FD-like transformation is going to favor grab attempts. So let's see how Sheik can. Yeah, off the top. And that's two for X. You bring this man to fi uh, uh, FOD. Fountain's the stage, man. Yeah, Fountain is so good. He does really well. But Sheik does enjoy the stage. We just need to see... Right now, Milhouse has not been able to take advantage of the strategy he liked on Yoshi's. Yeah. He didn't camp or zone in any place on the stage yet. Yeah, and he's got such a deficit now. Like, he can't really afford to prevent Axe from approaching. Yeah, right now I feel like Milhouse is being a little anxious with how he's going to approach. Yeah. Is that real? The Thunder Jolt to up smash? It is depending on how Pikachu lands. Because the Thunder Jolt is actually slower than Pikachu, yeah. you can gain frame advantage. That's crazy. That's pretty sick. These little yeah. attacks aren't that much, but they do set up for this edge guard attempt. <laughs> and the fully charged does get the card. Alright, this guy just got blown away, but you know what? You know how many other people are going to take a game off of Axe in this part of pools, in this stage Almost of the none. tournament? Nobody. Melas, you had really great fundamental ideas and execution of your strategy. The problem right now, I think, is 